Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to finally show you guys on what the project or what the, the outcome of the truck was. It has a little good response to it like when, once I step on it. Obviously compared to stock to now, it actually picks up picks up pretty good for like a lifted truck. I'm like 37 obviously. Obviously I know it's not going to be nothing too freaking crazy like outrun, outrun a fucking drop truck, you know? Obviously not. But for the speed, I mean, for the gain that I got, it feels good. I feel a different. So for now, we're gonna go to Summit. We're gonna see maybe I'm contem I'm debating on probably buying long tube headers. So I'm gonna go see right now how much they go for. I think they go for like 400, 500 around that. I don't know exactly. And then from here, then we're gonna go to a shop across town. I'm probably gonna most likely go ahead and change it. But as you guys know. I have a freaking, uh, I have a Flowmaster. Yeah, obviously that's no bueno, really, it's not really my thing. Back then, back then I just got it because I just wanted to have some noise to it, you know? But now the, the Flowmaster kind of covers up the little cam. Obviously the cam isn't going to be real loud, anything, no big chop, nothing, that's just a stage two. Oh, that's, as a matter of fact, I never told you guys, I got a stage two. And I believe LS7 lifters, if I'm correct, I'll check in the paper later. Um, he tuned it. He got he got it tuned. The straight pipe, the DOD delete, something like that. I think that's what it's called. And the straight pipe, obviously. He said that when they opened it up, it had two lifters that were stuck. The wheel speed sensor. He went ahead and fixed it for me for free. He didn't charge me for that. So shout out to him. Came in clutch with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little cold start. I never showed you guys. Everybody's been dying to hear when the Flowmaster doesn't really allow it much to hear the chop in video, obviously. You can hear it a little bit in person. So let's go ahead and check it out. I got one of the cats in here, the other one's inside, I don't know why, but I don't know if you guys can hear the little chop in video, but in person you can hear it. It's, it's a little chop, so. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to Summit real quick and go check it out, see what we can do. Or maybe if, I, if I'll probably end up buying the freaking headers, I don't know, maybe. And uh, for sure we're gonna go to that muffler shop, probably change the muffler up a bit so let's go and head out all right so we're here at summit let's head out and see what we can find i know i do need a i need blinker fluid so i might have to just buy some blinker fluid while i'm at it here all right guys so i just came back um i'm probably gonna come back and get them later on eventually the only reason i just didn't go ahead and get them right now was because it's raining on it's gonna rain a lot this whole weekend so I'm, I'm gonna be low on work and I don't want to be putting myself in a little position right now that's not a necessity right now but I am gonna come back for them just let you guys know but I did secure the blinker fluid so always gotta have blinker fluid on on check I'm gonna go to that muffler shop and let's see what happens most likely I feel like I am gonna end up getting it but let's head out over there and see what happens 
All right, guys, so we're going to bask him, see what happens, and see about putting that carving into us real quick. So, be right back. See how this goes, guys. Shit. Hello, Erga God damn. I forgot I needed to add a white pipe to it, so we gotta add a white pipe and the carbon. Okay, Let's see how this goes. It's fucking dirty down here. Needs a deep cleaning. So I like how it sounds, it sounds pretty dope, man. I like the, the carving. I've always liked how the carving sounds. So big shout out to Junior's Mufflers Center Shop. Y'all hit him up. Y'all come through Hawtum City. Badass service, I'm not gonna lie. Check it, I was in here probably for like, I drove up here. First thing they came out, they all right away, they like, took care of me, you know. I was probably in here for like less than 45 minutes. That was pretty quick, so <laughs> so we're gonna go out, we can go back home, and I'm gonna give you guys a little review. Let you guys hear it good. Um, but I like how it sounds, so it should sound good when we're hitting in the freeway. We're gonna give it a little rip right now once we head out. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It was nice, it has a little aggressive aggressiveness to it, so. Watch this be like after you get the exhaust done and shit. <laughs> Once I get over to the house and I'll show you, like I said, I'll show you guys a review real quick. I threw in the old exhaust, so I probably just sell it for like cheap, cheap. I don't know what I'll do. I'll give it out or something. I don't know. This is a bunch of pinche de fierro just hanging out in my crib. I don't need that. So see you guys when I get home. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys a little pull, you know, a little, I guess you could say, a 75 roll. <laughs> so. It sounds pretty nice, I like it, so here you go. Shit, it picks up, I'm not gonna lie, it picks up for a heavy truck. One thing for sure is that it picks up more than what it was back then when it was stock. So. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys an update on how the exhaust went. It sounds pretty nice, like I said. So I'm gonna give you guys a little, not a cold start, but a little warm start, but it still sounds pretty good, so. set it down for a bit but I like how it sounds on the freeway or when I'm hitting it when I'm flooring it, it sounds nice Guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna head out for a bit. 
hope you guys like it that's like i said that's a stage two vtr uh, cam like i said hope you guys like it have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one